The NVMe powered all flash storage arrays can drive millions of IOPS with response times in microseconds and throughput in hundreds of gigabytes per second. But your apps may not benefit from the full potential of these ultra fast storage arrays. Sometimes the servers are connected at slower speeds of 4, 8, or 16 gig when the 32 gig line rate response from the all flash arrays reaches these slower lengths they get overutilized and results in a congested fabric at other times the servers may be overloaded and unable to ingest the frames whereas the network capacity is still available the servers slow down sending of r ready that results in txb to be credit starvation on the switch ports resulting in slow drain in both the cases just one culprit ends up victimizing many other high capacity servers the problem of sand congestion or slow drain happens because the server is asking for more than it can ingest. In block storage networks, the storage arrays don't send data by themselves, but the servers ask for data by initiating an I.O. Cisco DIRL feature watches any symptom of egress congestion on the switch ports and then limits the ingress traffic to prevent congestion in the egress direction. By limiting ingress frames, DRL slows down the read IO command frames that are requesting the data from the all flash arrays. And if the servers ask for less, they will get less and won't cause any congestion. DRL is adaptive in nature. It dynamically changes ingress rate limiting to match the traffic profile of the applications to keep the congestion under control. There's no frame dropping by DRL. It works using the B2B credit pacing mechanism of the Cisco Fiber Channel ASICs. While talking about congestion, slow drain, etc., I also want to mention that the Cisco MDS switches support the standard base approach of sending notifications and signals. The end devices can register their capabilities using Register Diagnostics function or RDF and Exchange Diagnostics capability or EDC. When a congestion or link integrity event is detected, the MDS switches send Fabric Performance Impact notification or FPIN and signals to the end devices. This approach has a bright future but the end devices must be capable of registering and receiving the notifications and signals. And for that, they must be upgraded. I guess you will agree that a total upgrade with an end to end 32 or 64 gig connectivity will solve many problems, but it's quite an expensive approach and upgrading large environments is a multi-year project. This is where DRL helps you while you're deploying all flash NVMe arrays today. It has zero dependency on the end devices you can use DRL on the MDS switches after a software-only upgrade. There's no additional license for it. It's simple to use and doesn't impact any other device except the slow draining server. The final result, slow devices and the fast devices can coexist in the same fabric and together they can push the all flash NVMe arrays to their full potential without impacting each other. DRL bridges the gap between the high-performing NVMe arrays and the slower or overutilized servers. DRL is the ultimate solution for sand congestion or slow drain that the industry has always been asking for. For more information, talk to a Cisco rep. If you have any questions, reach out to me on Twitter or leave a comment below. That is all. Thank you for watching.